one concept from the last session, which is document records. So I'm logged in as the implementation user. Now document of record, like I said, is a digital document that you would store against a person. So that document would be anything and everything that you can store. Now these documents of record have a small configuration or setup that you can do. So the task is under the setup and maintenance work area. And you have something called documents of record. Okay, so the task is called document types in the setup and maintenance work area. So we have different types of document. Let's go to document types. Again, this is a Redwood configuration, so it has moved to the Redwood page. So Oracle does provide some delivered document types, like you have 1095 per US and certain other document of record. However, we can always go ahead and create new document types. Now document type is like a category for the document that you want to store. So I click on add. I give the information like basic details. What is this document type? Let's say it says document. Is it active, inactive, subcategory? Uh, category, let's say category. This is something to do with uh, employment. Okay. And the subcategory is something to do with your previous employment. Let's say I'm, you know, taking the work experience of your previous employer and storing that in this document type. Level, is it? going to be associated to a person or the assignment. Let's say it is stacked to the person. Do you want to specify minimum number of attachments? If you say yes, then without an attachment, you cannot move ahead, right? So let's say minimum attachment is one. Does this have a notification period in case the document expires? This is something that you could do for a document that has an expiration date, like maybe a visa, driver license, passport, anything that has an expiration date. Do you want to allow multiple occurrences of the same document? Meaning this document type can be uploaded multiple times because I have, you know, this is my previous work history. I can have multiple documents of the same type, but let's say I'm storing a document, which is maybe your identification or something like a national identifier. So we will not allow multiple occurrences of the same document. So there is only one instance or one document against that toy that is stored for a given person. Does it require an approval? Yes or no. Does it require to be published? Yes or no. So approval, we've already seen what an approval does. If you say yes, it requires an approval. Then whenever you're creating a document of record in the transaction, you will have an approval in place and publish, meaning it is like a, a you know, read only thing. You can define uh, unless it is published, it will not be visible. So you can control the visibility by publishing the document. Even though the document is not published, the HR can still see it, but no one else can see it. But if you say no, then you know whoever has access to that document can see this. Then report path is where you are using a Notibay report to define a specific layout of the document. So we will not touch you know, this part. It is more technical in nature. Any small description that you want. Coming to the attributes, you have the ability to define certain attributes of a document. So document of record is, like I said, an attachment or a digital document that you're storing. So you want to have a name, a number, a form date, to date, issuing country. So we are talking about previous work history or you know work experience certificate. So document number doesn't really make sense. It is not something that is required. Maybe document name is you know required. From date, uh, document itself does not have to need a form and a to date. Issuing country, not relevant. Issuing a location, not relevant. Uh, issuing authority, maybe you can give the name of your previous employer. So that is your uh, 
document and issued on is not relevant, issuing comment is not relevant. Then you have restrict the settings. If you want to restrict create, if you say yes, then you cannot create, then what is the point of you know, having this document? So obviously you will you know, have restrict creation, no. Do you want to restrict the update of this document? So once the document is attached or there's a document, do you want the ability to edit it, yes or no? So if you say no, that means you're not restricting the update, meaning you can still make the changes or edits. Do you want the ability to restrict the delete? If I say yes, then, I cannot delete this particular uh, document from being deleted. Once it is created, I can only update, but I cannot delete this. Okay. Then you have uh, any specific roles that exclude from restriction. So I can override this restriction by giving it a particular role. So that particular role will override all of these restrictions. Archive settings, do you want to archive this? from the date, issue date, to date, creation date. And then you have these flex fields. So like we've seen the descriptive flex fields for person, for job, for location. Similarly, you have descriptive flex fields for documents as well. So this is the basic attribute that you will capture. Let's say you want to capture some additional attribute which says number of years you know, uh, in that job. So that is not a delivered attribute. So you can create a descriptive flex field and define that custom attribute or custom value that you want to store along with this document. So this is your DFF part and same thing, additional information. And then the attachments. Do you want to drag and drop a file here? So if you include an attachment as part of the document type, this is something that the employee gets directly to their you know, uh, profile. So this is something that you would want to use when you are giving them a form to fill out, you know, or you can redirect them to a particular URL where they can download, let's say it's a government mandate form or something like that. You can give them a URL where they can download the form and then fill in the details and upload the form, right? So this is your document type setup. I say create, and this will create a new document type for me. Any questions around the setup of the document of record? So let's say I want to create a document type for a person. I go to my client groups, person management, search for the person. This is my classic UI. Let's say I want to add it for um, Julie. This is my employee, Julie. Again, you can directly go to the actions and go to the document of record if you are aware of where you want to go or simply click on the hyperlink on the name. It will take you to your employment page, and then you can go from the task list. I go to documents of record. I can create a document. Now I can add from an attachment or create a new document. Let's say I create a new document. I choose the document type. So I create the document type that I just uploaded. Notice that whatever fields were marked as relevant are showing up here, issuing authority, name, and the name was required, therefore it is marked with asterisk. So let's say this is my work experience. Issuing authority, ABC company. And then I can go ahead and attach a document. Now, remember I said minimum attachments is one. So if I click on submit without attaching the document, does the system allow me to do that? No, because you have mentioned that there should be at least one attachment for this given document type. So I cannot submit the transaction without attaching a document. So let's go ahead and attach a document. So now I have uploaded one file against this particular document of record. I click on submit. And this completes the transaction. Now when I clicked on submit, it would route to an approval provided that we had enabled approvals in two places. One, at the document type, we need to enable the approval. Two, in the approval rules, we need to define the rule without having the bypass enabled. Okay. 
So I can see that the document is created. I can click on the spectacles to view this document type. Now I can click on edit. I can remove the attachment. I can make edits, but notice that I cannot delete this record as such because for this given document type, we have restricted the delete option. Therefore, I do not have the ability to delete this document type. Whereas if I go to some other document type, let's say this COVID-19 vaccination, I have this delete button over here. Notice that there is no delete for this particular document type, SS document because we have removed the ability to delete. OK, simple. Yeah, Sandeep, question. How do we know uh, what are the seeded, uh, you know, the document type records? If we want okay. to know. Good like question. By, so how do you know what is the delivered type? What are the delivered documents uh, and what are the customers? So when you get your client environment, if you go to the document record setup, whatever is available that is delivered. And let's say you get a client environment which you did not, you know, you're not there from the beginning or someone else has already implemented. You can have a report and that report uh, can, you know, give you the document list of all the document types and then you can filter that by the creation date or the created by. So a delivered, uh, you know, report or delivered document will have a creation date of uh, 1951 versus the one that you create will have the creation date of the date you are creating because in the setup there is no place where you can define the creation date or a from date for the document type itself so therefore okay. the day you create the document that will be recorded in the database table as the creation date so you can filter out the creation date to identify like, all the delivered document okay uh, like we you showed us right like 1095c we want to see if there is anything else that is already mm -hmm. uh, created you know that, that comes as part of the yes uh, so yeah. when you click here you get a list and all these are delivered and all of these can be found in the document type setup okay now if you want to restrict this list yes that can be done we have the concept of security profiles, which I talked about, right? So you can do a document type security profile to restrict the list of values for a given role. So that only when you, you know, let's say you are an employee, you only get a list of document types to choose from. Whereas if you are a manager, maybe you get a bigger list. And for the HR, you have a wider range. Let's say you want to restrict it by country, you can create document type security profiles and attach it to the country specific HR role. So that country will only see the document types which are relevant for their country. For example, this you know, 1095 is only for United States. So maybe in India, HR or some other country, HR does not need to know that there is a 1095 something existing because it is not relevant for them. Whereas the others are for all countries. This AHV, AVS is only for Switzerland. Similarly, this one is for Italy. So you can restrict the list of values to make it more relevant and easy for the end users.